Well, yeah. You ready to not kill each other? Hey, we're gonna be in the motorhome for the next 10 days or so, pushing some miles. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. 2,400 miles each way. Mm -hmm. So do the math, that's like 6,000 miles. Well, well, from leaving home the other day, yeah, it'll, it'll be a 6,000 mile trip. At least 5,000 miles. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we're looking forward yep. to bringing my mama home. That's going to be nice. She, she's going to love it. Um, she's going to see Alaska. She'll be able to relax in a little different environment and uh, be with her beloved daughter. Uh, which I think is most important for and both of you. And son-in-law. Well, me too. I think she's really going to enjoy it. I do too. Yeah. I hope that uh, we really get to show her Alaska. Well, she wants to see it. I mean, she sees it in our videos and our not, photos, but yeah. it's not the same. And she's only seen it in winter. Right. So to get her up here while it's still green. Look how green it is behind us and the beautiful waterfall. This is something you don't see in the wintertime. So, <sighs> but gotta get up here. We have a big day ahead of us. Yes, we do. Uh, we're gonna stop whenever we get tired, so. Yeah, there's no plan on RV parks or whatever the heck. We're just stopping wherever the road tells us to stop. Um, when it gets too dark, we'll pull over and find a spot, call it good, get up and go again. All right, well, I think we should get on the road. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome to Alaska sign, and I believe now there's a big Welcome to Yukon sign. So we're gonna stop and 
take a gander. I see our stickers. Right there and right there. And uh oh, Don and Neva, your stickers peeling off. Well, we're once again at the Welcome to Alaska sign, and our former How Hana Travels brand and our Irving to Alaska sticker are right up here. But now we need to add our new brand, Living Free Alaska. However, I think you need to make, do a little history lesson. How long ago was that Valhana Tribal sticker stuck? Uh, that particular one was stuck in 2019. 2019. 2019. And it's still here? It's still here. That's awesome. Yep, it sure is. So I'm going to put it right near yeah. I was going to cover Valhana Travels, but there's a lot of uh, video history under that name. So I'm gonna put it, what about right here? There you go. Right there, all right. Right here? Yeah. I don't wanna. Hey, there might not be water going together. It's nice and hot, so. It'll stick it's good. Nice and sticky. All right. Our new home. Hey, look at it's our Alaska. That's another Alaskan homestead channel. That's really cool. I bet you if we sit here and stared, we'd see quite a few brands that we know. Well, babe, this is our fifth time at the sign. Yeah. And today it's been about a 350 mile run from Valdez to the Alaska state border. Well, the U.S. state border is what it is actually. Pretty much, yeah. It's literally right over here. Spirit is going to go into Canada before us. There you go. She's in Canada. So here we are, Alaska and the Yukon. And really interesting, there's a marker, the international the, the boundary marker. But you can see all the way up through the forest you can see the cut line that that line goes all the way across the uh, u.s canadian border both in alaska and the lower 48. so yes this is our fifth time at this border crossing we've done one other on top of the world for our sixth crossing and then we will be back here mm -hmm in about so a week and a half for crossing number seven yeah all right let's go check out the new yukon sign we've made it back into canada first time in about three and a half years we've set foot in canada yeah now we have to just see if they'll let us in <laughs> right the border is still another 15 miles up for the actual check-in crossing so oh boy yeah but it, it was a little bumpy yeah, this, uh, this, uh, what, 30 miles out of Toke was pretty good. Then uh, around Northway, it gets a little cruddy. Um, you dodge some pretty good sized potholes and some good frost teas and all that. But uh, the last 20 slow. miles or so? Though, the last 30 miles or so. Pretty nice. It's pretty dang nice. A couple yeah. little spots, but for the most part, it's nice. Now we go into Canada, and from what they say, the Canadian roads are better. So we'll be the judge. Yes. All right, we don't know where we're stopping. We're gonna stop whenever we feel like it. So. It's now, well, we're, as soon as we cross the international border, we lost an hour, so I don't even know what time it is. I don't know. Time is time, doesn't matter, the sun is still up. The we nice thing, it's a 24 hour border, so we won't get held up. Nope. Uh, all right, let's hit the road. Sound good. Well, we have to go back to Alaska real quick, and then, then we'll head out. <laughs> right? We're still well, parked, yeah, we're in, still Alaska. parked in Alaska. So, yeah, I guess technically we have to go back <laughs> yeah, to Alaska. We got to go back to Alaska. All right. How fun.
to eight uh, Canadian time. Yukon time. Yukon time. So that would be a quarter to seven. We left Valdez at 9.30 this morning, so it's a solid, yeah, I think 10 hour drive. That was the easiest border crossing I think we've ever had. Right? One, we have no firearms to declare. And we told them we're basically driving straight through. So, easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, just a couple of questions. And I was not, no alcohol question, it was just a firearm question, that was it. I asked what was in the trailer, I said it's basically empty, just some moving totes. And he said, all right, have a good day. <laughs> we get to keep our eggs. Yeah, yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we have to eat lots of chicken before we hit Washington. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. All right, well, so far so good. Um, good Monday morning. Did you get some sleep last night? I think I slept pretty I think hard. I think we both slept pretty good last night. It was a tiring day yesterday. It was. It's amazing how tiring just sitting and driving. Well, well and the road was a little bumpy. Yeah, yeah, the road was bumpy uh, a lot in places. And it's just, you get the road fatigue from having to steer around everything and hit the brakes and just concentrate so hard on where your wheels are on the roadway. There were a couple spots where it was only like that wide and I had to get my tire through it. <laughs> or there was a bathtub pothole. Or yeah, a huge pothole <laughs> you had to try to, uh, anyway. It was it was a, a, a long day uh, and we got a really nice restful night's sleep and we're up, ready to go this morning. Um, well, it's a big push today and as we get further south down past Kluani and Haynes Junction, the roads should improve quite a bit. Yeah. So we should be able to cover some miles today. Uh, Stacy's like got a 500 mile day clock in the books. I'm not sure how it's a far. goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. We'll see what happens. Last night we did beat our goal. We wanted to get to at least Beaver Creek, which right. is the Canadian border, and we did do that. And I would say we're about an hour past that. Hour, hour and a half, something like that. We, we stayed at a, a Yukon government campground called Lake creek yeah a nice little campground in fact we ran into a couple of our rvr friends that we right. met at our rally yes so uh, i went and set up their campfire last night for a little bit and we had a good dinner so mm -hmm. got a good rest mm -hmm. so now it's time to <sighs> push the wheel south yeah if, if it if anything we will be in british columbia today tonight yes it should be Yep. So. Well, we'll be in and out of British Columbia four times. <laughs> Just the way <laughs> quite, the road goes. Quite a few times. Yep, <laughs> yep. All right, well. Let's get going. Let's do this. All right.
Well, good morning. It's Tuesday a.m. It's about 8 a.m. And we are getting ready to hit the road once again. Last night, yesterday, we did 520 miles. It brought us from the very northern reaches of the Yukon. And this uh, last night, we stayed the night in the very northern reaches of British Columbia. We have turned off the Alaska Highway and we are now on the Cassier Highway, which will take us down 450 miles uh, to Highway 16. So it's going to be a long push today. Today our goal is to get down to Highway 16. So at least 450 miles are planned for us and maybe a little bit more. But so far, we're doing good. We have 1,200 miles under our tires with about 1,400 miles more to go. Good morning. Just adjusting some tires today. Uh, they're kind of running at uneven numbers, like the dualies, ones that one will run at 108 pounds, the other one's 127 pounds of pressure or something like that. That's not necessarily good for the tires, so I want to equal out them a little bit and uh, set a new baseline. It's morning time, the tires are cold, so it's a good time to check your pressures. So that's what I'm doing. Using a little tire minder app in conjunction with my um, little pressure stick it's gonna make things work while Gary works on tires I am gonna get ready get the motorhome ready to uh, travel we have all slides out of course so I've got to put everything in its spot so uh, we can fold it in and hit the road Can't forget that one. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Spirit. Yep. Good girl. Good girl. We gotta think about it. <laughs> gotta be done right. There she, we go. She can't just fly in like she used no, to. No, with nine years of RVing, it, she slowed down a little bit. <laughs> Door's closed. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're gonna hit the Cassiar hard today. It's uh, 450 miles of distance-ish, and we're gonna do all that today on the Cassiar. Uh, our goal is Smithers, which is actually 50 some miles beyond Kitawanga, which is the official end of the Cassiar. So, Smithers is just the largest town nearby the area. So if for some reason we think we're going to stop there, we'll see what happens. But the goal is to kill the Cassiar today. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. 
I gotta disrobe a little bit. It's also gonna be like 75, 80 degrees today, so. Jacket's not necessary right now. Ah. Oh, can you top me off? Oh, let me get a kiss it. Thank you. Music. friends it is Wednesday morning and today marks our fourth day on the road and today we find ourselves in Smithers British Columbia Smithers is about halfway down British Columbia BC is actually a huge province so today our goal is another 500 mile day and this should bring us right in around Cache Creek to nicely set us up for our final day of driving tomorrow. Currently, right now, we just stopped at a feed store. Miss Spirit, her ear is having some issues and it's draining pretty heavily and she's in a little pain. So we stopped here at this feed store to see if they had an ear wash or something that we can give her to help her keep her a little more comfortable. After that, we're gonna fill up for our fourth time of this trip and then we're gonna head south so we're looking forward to a beautiful day it is slightly overcast well no it's not slightly overcast it is very overcast and it rained all night long so hopefully the skies will clear and we'll have a beautiful drive any luck got something 
The, the lettering is too small. I can't read it with my glasses. <laughs> but he said it's, it's more of an uh, antibacterial kind of ear wash stuff that well, really helps spirit. That will be better than nothing. Better than having run out of the other stuff. Yes. This is it, babe. At yeah. least for the yeah. first half of the trip. Yeah. This is day five of driving. Uh, we, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh. Five days yeah. of, uh, well, four days of 500 plus miles. Today is an easy 370 miles to my mom's driveway. And uh, we should be there in about seven hours. Give or take a little bit, you know, for whatever the border crossing requires of us. And uh, we've decided to take it a little different route. It's a little bit more hilly and windy, so not quite as fast on the on the highway speeds. But we're going to get there today. Yep. 2,200 plus miles with 370 left to go. So it's been a long haul. I know we haven't filmed very much because honestly, all we've been doing is driving. This has been it. I'm back in the seat again today. So <laughs> crazy. But uh, yeah, join us as we push this last little push into Washington State and my mother's house. Uh, yeah, more importantly, back across the U.S. border <laughs> <laughs> into our into our Washington state. This is not how we uh, preach to see Canada. No, uh, no, no, no. And this is basically the same amount of time we did it when we moved here. And uh, yeah, not fun. Well, like you had said in a post or something like that, this is a, not a leisure travel through Canada. This is, this is a, we're on a mission. Yeah, not leisure or pleasure. So. No. All right, well, we are officially on the road, 
and we will check back in with you once we're at mom's <laughs> Burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home With my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace Like you beside me No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home As it seems in the photo Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or long Could change my mind Could slow my coming I'm coming home. I'm coming home.